Our first Christmas Day broadcast from a monarch was George V in 1932. He was a little bit nervous about using this new technology and being broadcast over what was called then the wireless. But he had been reassured by a visit to the BBC earlier on in the summer and seen how they were doing it and so agreed that this would be a great way to address the empire on Christmas Day. Two rooms at Sandringham were converted into temporary broadcasting rooms and the message from Sandringham was relayed to the BBC offices in London and from there, using the post office network, transported across the world. The message reached Canada, Australia, India, South Africa and Kenya. And George said, I speak now from my home and from my heart to you all. To men and women so cut off by the snows, the desert or the sea that only voices out of the air can reach them. It must have felt quite exciting but odd. He's talking into a microphone and being told that message is going to reach people all over the world. It must have been quite a surreal experience. So George V's speech had set that tradition of the monarch addressing the nation every Christmas day. And 25 years later, in 1957, our current Queen, Queen Elizabeth II, did the first televised Christmas Day speech. Now, I think going on the radio is one thing, doing it to a camera is quite another. Our Queen's first speech in 1957 went like this. 25 years ago, my grandfather broadcast the first of these Christmas messages. Today is another landmark because television has made it possible for many of you to see me in your homes on Christmas Day. Mm -hmm.